Okay, so I got the pellet vent installed. This is what it looks like finished. Uh, well, almost finished. I still have to caulk around this gap here. Um, silicone. Um, but everything's, all the joints are siliconed and tidied up. Um, see it in here, kind of. <clears throat> Might be a little too dark, but. So yeah, the pellet vent is done. Last night, I ran electricity down from the load center, my breaker panel, down here to a switch over here so that I can have that red faceplate boiler on and off thing. And then ran it over to a junction box here. And then I wired in this, which is, goes to the boiler here. And then I wired this box up and got that all done. This is my outdoor temperature sensor, which I haven't run yet. I'm going to run that over to the north side of the garage. Uh, outside, you know, not in the sun. Um, I also wired up this, which will go to my controller, which came in the mail today. This is basically a, a Zell iLink 5 zone controller. And that's what it looks like. Bunch of uh, ports in the bottom, bunch of ports in the top. Does a bunch of cool things. Um, actually does a lot of cool things, which I'm pretty excited about. The most, ex most important thing is that it will connect to my current controller, my current pump controller, which is a two-zone unit in the house. And it will, that can operate as a slave, and this can operate as a master, uh, so that when those zones kick on, this system pump, the green one at the top, will kick on as well. So that's really important because I have kind of a distributed header setup. Um, the only other way to do that would be to run 120 volts in between here and the house on some separate line to energize the pump. So this will do it over uh, 16 AWG. No, 22? I can't remember. So, so yeah, next steps. Um, well, I built the whole thing, and then I tore it all apart because I didn't like it, and I wanted to change it. And I do that from time to time. And the cause this time was, well, I, I was originally being lazy. Um, let me just set this up. Hang on, pause. So I was originally being lazy, um, and I was just running one header, one temperature, everything was the same temperature. But the reality is, is I have two radiant heat zones in the garage, two in the house, and those will all be the same temperature, but I have two Modine space heaters that will need full temperature boiler water. And so I've created a double supply header configuration which basically means I'm gonna have the full temperature water coming out and going to a header which will feed my Modine heaters and then I will have a mixing valve which mixes the water down to a safe radiant temperature 130 or so um, and that will feed all my radiant zones so I took it all apart so I could do that I always I also wanted to put in a balancing valve here um, before this is my fear is that I'm not going to have any control over water just going back into the boiler and it'll just make a loop and never actually go out to my zones and with a, with a balancing valve I'll be able to close this off somewhat and I've read on some boiler setup manuals, TARM for instance, that the balancing valve is required. So that's what you get when you're not a plumber and you're not you know a designer of heating systems you've got to read as much as you can and Hope for the best. And the reality is, is that if I build this whole thing and it doesn't work, all I have to do is just rebuild it so that it does. And maybe that's more work than it's worth, but I think I can get it pretty close the first time. Uh, so yeah, that's what's going on. This weekend, my plan is to tear the house heating system apart and salvage four, three or four parts from it. One of them is the mixing valve that I already own. Uh, I've got a boiler drain that I want to use. I've got a one-inch ball valve I want to use. Um, I don't need an additional spiral vent up there and a PRV. Oh, I want to use the PRV as well. I don't need an additional pressure gauge, and I don't need that propane boiler up there. So I'm going to tear that all apart and redo that, and then come down here and build this whole system 
And hopefully I can get it back up and running by the end of the weekend so that I can have heat. Uh, that'll be neat. So this is pretty much set electrical wise except for the boiler switch. And I've got to mount that controller and then wire the controller to all the pumps. Um, pellet vents all set. I should probably buy pellets. That would help. Um, so, so, yeah, that's what's going on. Um, yeah, thanks for watching.